So this is going to actually be short because like I wanted to put out a video every day and I'm going to, you know, hell or high water. Um, but it is late mainly because I had a bunch of shit I got to take care of, um, today and it's in preparation for busy tomorrow, busy week, fucking, I've got a lot planned for y'all. But basically, the general vibe uh, is that now that I am unsuspended from Twitter, I, uh, I've been sort of off the handle a little uh, with some of my beliefs. Um, and some of my uh, more aggressive threads um, that I would do on Jeremiah EXE are now coming to Insanity is Free. Now, one of the things um, is that um, I will be uh, probably aggressively censored soon because YouTube is banning content where I'm a guest. So if you want uh, your content to potentially be deplatformed, <laughs> feel free to have me on your show as a guest. Um, if there's somebody you want me to be on the show of, let them know uh, that you've got this very negative conspiracy theorist and he's willing to talk about that sort of thing. But basically, uh, the, the video today is going to be addressing something that's been bugging me. And I've got my air conditioner on. If it's noisy in the background, let me know in the comments. But... Uh, I, uh, I, I'm overheated, you know, it's been an overheated day. So with all that in mind, Bill Maher is a boomer hack who constantly makes, um, let's just say fucking stupid comments about everything involving generations and his most recent one is just so fucking irritating. So I'm going to show you this. This should basically give you all the idea you need of what his fucking shit was this time. But if it doesn't, if you need, uh, if you need more information than that, let me click, uh, click this off. Basically, his whole deal is this, and I shit you not. If we want a better social strata, and if we want better uh, climate policy, malls. I shit you not, he literally thinks malls. And his whole justification, his whole like modus operandi in that regard is that malls used to be social spaces and that since malls used to be social spaces people were better off it was like the town square in other countries and additionally because they were brick and mortar stores they were better for the environment because people weren't getting shipping to their houses. Now, for those of you who've been following me for a while, you know I'm no fan of the existence of this fast shipping industry, this fucking <sighs> mega corporate hellscape we've gotten ourselves into. I don't like it, and I regularly talk about how, you know, a lot of people who claim to be for the environment, you know, would, would club a baby seal themselves to keep two-day shipping. You know, shit like that. That's my, that's my fucking take there. And, and it's, it's a good fucking take. I'm right. But you know what? It wouldn't be an acceptable thing to do to replace it with? Malls. Now, let me just read my thread here for y'all. 
because I think I said it rather well. Um, that is once I get it up. I'm a little disorganized since I'm tired. But here you go. This is my thread. New rule. Actually, I'll, I'll say this like Bill Maher would say it. New rule. Bill Maher needs to stop acting like being a boomer means his generation did nothing wrong. Pause for laughter. I gotta lick something in my face in order to be the true Bill Maher experience and then maybe do some facial expression like that. He also needs to stop pretending that this generation is responsible for everything or that his generation isn't the one bankrolling it. Here's an example thread for y'all. Bill recently smarmily opined that this dress was not bought by his generation. Okay, but it wasn't bought by somebody in their 20s either. This person is in their 40s from my basic research. They have a 24-year-old daughter, and I could immediately tell they weren't Gen Z. How? Because he included a picture of her neck. And because he included a picture he jacked from a Daily Mail article. For those of you, you know, out of the thread, I uh, have a thing for necks. I think necks are a good way to tell somebody's character. And, you know, you can tell their age pretty quickly, which is why I knew from this woman's neck she's in her 40s or something. She's not Gen Z. She might not even be a millennial. That was my first thought. This chick has a fucking, you know, 40-year-old neck. And I was right, you know, because she has a 24-year-old kid and another kid, which I couldn't determine the age of. Uh, but it's fine because I didn't need to do any more digging. And I already feel sort of, like, creepy enough with the way I use my skills sometimes. <laughs> like... Yeah, let me let me go find this woman on Facebook because I saw a picture on a Bill Maher show. It's really that easy, though. Like, Bill Maher and all these news outlets make it, like, extremely easy to do this. So, you know, if you want a source to blame, I guess blame them. But, like, yeah, I mean, it was super easy to find her. And I'm not going to say what her name was because, like... She genuinely seems to care. She's fine. She seems like a normal human. Um, you know, I have no reason to, to remotely send anybody after her, so I don't want her name out there. And I only did this for reference. You can tell uh, that if you used a screenshot s search engine, you could tell that if you used a screenshot search engine like I did. I gotta get that Bill Maher flare back in there. Then all I had to do was search the phrase on Facebook, and I found her. Basic research, Bill. Pause for laughter. I gotta, and, and it's like, it's what, uh, fucking somebody that I can't remember called clapter. It's where you're looking for that or, or, or sort of seal clap of approval. You're not actually looking for people who understand the points or, you know, can thinkingly tell you that something might be wrong with them. You just want them to or, or. And fucking speep their hands into the camera so that you can get your fucking paycheck. Um, so, basically, um, that's where it starts. But there's more. So, basically, let's continue. What I found is a Gen X mom who genuinely seems to care about her family. And who may have made some impulse purchases or something. I'm sure Bill is pure in this regard, though, and I'm also sure that he doesn't sell any fast fashion of his own, right? Oh, right, but okay, Bill. That's my, like, version of okay, boomer. I, 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 I kind of want that to take off until he shuts the fuck up about other generations. By the way, generations are just a stupid marketing term. Um and a demographics tool used by the state, but they're not actually real. There's no delineation that makes you any different from a Gen X or a fucking millennial or a boomer or anything like that. There's no real distinction. 
except the distinctions that people have culturally worked into their own personal stupid contribution to the zeitgeist. Um, really, the separations are just designed to say that we're this team, you're that team, you're old, we're young, or vice versa. You, know, you whippersnappers, you just don't understand malls like I do. Um, fucking here. So, and while I'm at it, why is it that you can say that your generation didn't do this while blaming partially Amazon listings, a company started by somebody smack dab on the edge of exactly your generation? And why does it matter anyway? These are arbitrary boundaries. Act up, though. I fucking included screenshots as proof. Baby boomers. End at 64 and start at 46. That means both uh, fucking... Bill Maher at 66, born in 56, and Jeff Bezos, born in 64 at 58, they're both boomers. So if you're blaming Amazon, Bill, you're blaming your own fucking generation. But you're not blaming Amazon. Like, I wanted to make this video because I wanted to say that most of this was just him demanding that everybody acquiesce to his lifestyle choices. You know, like, he, he's, uh, he blamed the common person and their purchases there, but his solution is ass, and I'll get into that shortly. And, and not to mention the fact that he blamed these people without blaming, really, the people who, uh, fucking started the organization. Because if you said, hey, maybe we did start the fire and Billy Joel is wrong, you might not have such an easy time saying, I'm Bill Maher, clap for me when I say young people suck. I know my demographic, and I'm going to prey on that in order to play to their insecurities and say, no, you're not growing old, these people just suck. Well, if we did... We didn't come from nowhere. And we came from you and your holes and your hoses. And maybe you should stop hosing the wrong holes or holing the wrong hoses. And maybe instead of being this kind of a problem and then acting like you're fucking brand new here, you should act responsible. Like a responsible adult. Or maybe you're age regressing and that's why you're throwing a tantrum anyway. Oh, by the way, these jokes are all written courtesy of me, not a massive writing team, largely comprised of people younger than you, Bill. Like, I'm so sure you had nothing to do with this Bill, showing him in a picture of a fucking landfill and an energy plant. I'm so sure. Your constant smugness has propelled you into earning it by living a zero-waste lifestyle, right? Trying to avoid throwing as much stuff in a landfill as possible and avoid getting as much stuff to begin with? I licked my mouth. Am I Bill Maher now? Oh, dude, I've got to close my eyes for a bit. Okay, I've got to close my eyes for a bit. Maybe even reach up here and... Huh, wipe the old person filth in the corner of my mouth. Okay, so, <laughs> moreover, you complain about this kind of waste, but you ignore that that's exactly what it looks like behind many shopping centers. Wait for applause. And how do those products get to those malls you want? The same way they get to doors. And how do mall returns happen? The same way. Send them back. That was me pausing for applause. I should have a moment where I also hesitate and like, like I realize that the audience is about to let me jack off again, so I just sit there and absorb their laughter that they were gonna give me. You know, never stop your audience when they're giving you what you want. Um, so why on earth should anyone listen to you about any of this when you're so woefully incapable of living by your own standards? being reasonable in your own video, or even being consistent from point to point. How about instead of making malls great again, people buy less junk? Sorry, I'm waiting for laughter again. I could go on, 
about how your show uses a boatload of carbon and how baby boomers have been some of the least sustainable people causing the most long-term waste and funding the next generation of wasters. But the new rule stands. Y'all started the fire, Lamau. Get hosed, Bill. And that's where it would the, the, the big-ass crane camera would pan out. And, like, I would say that's our show tonight, everybody. Uh, tune in tomorrow for me hosting three varieties of jack off and no real alternative um the so all of that is a thing right bill maher sucks but he also sucks because he has that team of writers he has that team of editors of production crew of everybody who cleans the greasy sweat off of his fucking uh, table there, his big-ass triangular table, which is a great way to get your big-ass audience that all drove there um, <laughs> and, uh, and, and sat under your expensive lights that are very environmentally impactful uh, to see this, this show of you saying that you care so much about the environment that you're not going to do what these dumb influencers do, which was another point he brought up, even though he is an influencer. He's just an influencer approved by mega corporations enough to be on HB fucking O. So for him to act, like, superior in that regard, you're a glorified YouTuber for legacy media, and your numbers aren't as good as some of the YouTubers and influencers you fucking mock. That's why you really don't like a lot of these people, because they're working with a new model that's much easier than yours, and instead of admitting that maybe people wouldn't care as much about your content if they couldn't find it on YouTube or get it recommended to them by YouTube, you would rather just act like the only people who should be on a place like YouTube are people like you, Tube. I should pause for laughter there too, but I'm going to interrupt my audience. So the general vibe is that he sucks asshole and his show is hugely carbon uh, using. Like he, he's got a massive carbon footprint. Absolutely fuck huge. And he prints, you know, books. He sells merch. <laughs> he has a large house. He fucking... <laughs> he probably orders from Amazon. And to be super clear, malls aren't going to help. And one of the reasons is all these people ordering from Amazon, they're ordering things from a central place that sells a shit ton of objects. That's the reason they go. It's not because they can get everything they want. It's because they don't have to go to multiple sites to get what they want. So, they go to Amazon. Let's then make Amazon into everywhere. Make the entire country of America into one big Amazon, because that's what you would have to fucking do to replace the online shopping experience one-to-one. You would have to have enough stores in enough places in enough malls that were built over enough X plants, X parts of the environment in order to put more Amazons there, put more malls there. You would need to mine more resources in order to get more malls. You would need to push more supply distribution to those malls and it would still use the same amount of fucking materials to make those malls and do those malls. And people would still ask for returns at those malls, the same way that they asked for returns at Amazon. Like, I just fail to see how even the most charitable interpretation of his desired fucking solution would do jack fucking shit for the environment if not make everything dramatically worse. 
but not thinking about long-term consequences is the domain of the baby boomer, isn't it? And that's why you get to ignore all of the ways that you and your generation fucked it up for all of us and compounded interest the fucked up so that we have to pay it all back in a way that we can't. We're slaves because of you. Or we're living paycheck to paycheck, or like me, scraping by between donation and donation and the occasional gig when somebody wants my graphic design services or something. That's what we're doing. I, uh, I make a bottle of detergent like this. Last a year. I bought that detergent eight months ago. It might even last a year and a half. I buy these in bulk because I can't buy them at a physical fucking store anymore on Amazon. And these last me combined total of three months or more. I turn off the water when I'm not going to wash a part of my body at a given point. I don't drive a car. I go for runs. I am infinitely better for the environment than 99% of your rich, elitist, liberal friends, if not 100% by, uh, sorry, I was about to call you Biden, because you're that much of a hypocrite, Bill. It's exhausting listening to people with their moral and righteous indignation, but no desire to match up to the standards to which they hold other people. I live that life. I live that life, Bill. You don't. And you should stop acting like you're preaching from a high hill when you're down here slumming with the rest of us. And this goes for every single other fucking person politician like celebrity fuck every single one of you making stupid ass points like this generation or generation or generation fuck your idea of generation part of Bill Maher's whole shtick coming up was opposing the hysteria and the insanity of previous generations and now he wants to act like the people who were putting parental advisory stickers on albums and saying politically incorrect things should be banned. The kinds of people who would have had him censored a long time ago. The kinds of people connected to the single greatest waste machine in history, government, and its corporate and media fucking friends. Maybe those people are worse than people who don't go to fucking malls. Just something to think about while you smash the fucking state.